Welcome back to Money Confidential. Real people, real problems, and real talk. With me, Katie Morley. I wanted to hear from someone who'd been there, done that, and got over the guilt. Lisa Johnson, who you heard from earlier, might be exactly the rags to riches story that Jack needs to hear. A self-made multi-millionaire brought up on a council estate with a debilitating belief that money was bad. We sat down in her opulent home with gardeners flitting about outside primming and pruning, ready for summer, to discuss her working class guilt and how sudden wealth affected her relationships. Because of where I grew up, yeah, we grew up in poverty and there was no doubt about that. I got a scholarship to a private school when I was 11 years old and until that point I don't think I realised we were what you would call poor because when you're a kid you don't really even think about yourself in that way. You just think your friends live in different houses. But then when I was 11 I got bullied really badly because I was poor and because everybody else in the school was very, very rich. And that's when I kind of of knew. And then because of that poverty and because of the things that happened to me growing up, all because of a lack of money, how it shaped me at first was when I became successful, I was in debt until I was 40 years old. So I didn't make any money until I was 40. And how it shaped me was I couldn't make any money, like when I started my business. And I had to do a lot of work and I realized that it was because I thought money was bad. I thought money was a bad thing. The reason I thought money was bad is because the people that were bullying me were bad and they were rich. It was as simple as that. But also, things like when you're on a council estate and somebody comes past in a Porsche, my family and friends did not say, wow, look at the person in a Porsche. I wish we could be like that. They were very derogatory about, oh, look look at them, you know, how the other half live, I wonder what she's had to do to get that. It was, it was definitely that money was a bad thing. Having money made you almost evil. We even show that on television and everything, like the villain is always rich. And so I believed all of that. It went into my subconscious and that's what I thought was true. And then it just compounded it when I went to a school where the kids were rich and they bullied me for being not rich. 